in a circle of twelve Give my night to brother of the bell Lights from the light that swallows me whole Dig yourself, dig yourself Angels, the real Hell's Angels, riding today. Guys with guts who want to travel their way. Rough. Raucous. Really tough. With their own code of law and order. Anytime anybody needs help that's with us, we go all the way. We go to jail for you, do anything for you. Violence is their thing. In play. In love. In anger. Even to each other. Nobody move. 
big guy's been here less than 24 hours, and already we got a riot and a robbery on our hands. We got two guys in there, pal, and we're going in to get them. The deadliest gamble ever did. Hell's Angel. You've got all power, man. The grave diggers are on the move. A new breed of motorbike gang. They live in a fortress by the sea. Vietnam veterans. Look at me when I speak to you. But now, somebody wants them dead. All of them. Ken Shorter is stone. Sandy Harbert is the undertaker. The cop and the bike gang clash. I'll kill you! Stone is different. Take the trip.
the shit? Yeah, it's good shit. Homegrown. What's your name? Chris. Mine's Barry. People, you're blind or something, you see a flashing light, you pull over. Thanks. We'll remember that next time. We ain't had no driver's training, officer. Next time, there ain't gonna be any next time when a judge gets through you. <laughs> I'm taking you all in. On one charge. Speeding. Speeding? How could you tell? <laughs> Speeding. <laughs> Speeding and operating a motorcycle without proper equipment. Equipment? What equipment? Helmets, mister. You ain't got no helmets. In this town, everybody wears a helmet. All you have to do is go straight. We'll be right behind you. Let's go. Right down the road, happy and free when this road ranger puts a stop on me now everyone knows country folk treat you right so he says y'all come and at least spend the night sing along please make me happy sing along don't make me blue sing along lord lord please make me happy i can sing in the morning Hey, man. How you doing? Quite some time. Yeah, long time. Yourself, Dean? Yeah, not bad. Hey, Tony. You know who this is? This is Lenny's younger brother, Chris. You remember Lenny, don't you? Yeah, Lenny. He was, he was a pretty good dude, man. It's too bad about what happened to him. That car really messed him up. I don't remember seeing you at the funeral. No, I was in Nam. Didn't even find out about it till two weeks after. Never did catch a mother that hit him. No, oh, that really sucked, man. I don't even think they looked. It was probably some nerd in the Volkswagen with a brush cut. Yeah, it's a wonder they didn't give Lenny a ticket for cluttering up the highway. Yeah, and impound his fucking bike. Shit, all you gotta do is have long hair, ride a scooter, and wear colors. Everything you do is illegal. Hey, Amen on that. That really sucks, man. This place really sucks. Everything sucks. Now I know this doesn't suck. <sighs> Jesus, Reefer! <laughs> shut up here in this lousy cell and all of a sudden I smell that smell. Seems Chris pulled out a big bag of weed and a friend with weed is a friend indeed. Sing Lord, please make me happy. Sing Lord, don't make me blue. Sing Lord, 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 please make me happy. 
Cause I'm doing all these things just for you A motorcycle gang. I know all about you guys. I go to the movies. <laughs> Moreover, less under, in that end. And up yours. <laughs> guilty. Every time. You have been found guilty by a fair and impartial court of justice. Therefore, by the power vested in me by this Surprise! Hey, where are you? I'm not sure. Somewhere between Saginaw and Kalamazoo. You're coming home finally. I can't believe it. Yeah, I, I even got a motorcycle escort. Lynn. Just a second. I'm going out now, honey. I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye, Dad. Hey, guess who I got a ride with? A rock and roll band. Who is it, a busload of freaks? <laughs> no, the spirits. The spirits? I was wondering if you wanted to go to a wedding. Oh, Christopher. So sudden. No, no, I was itchy lips. One of the spirits is getting married. Hey, lighten up. This is a religious experience. <laughs> Want to read it, man? I mean, you know, this is just helping you out. If there are any among you who see any reason why this brother and this sister should not be joined together, speak now or forever hold your peace. Buster's holding his own piece. Shut up, Lloyd. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> then by the authority confided in me, by the state of mind, I now pronounce you woman and husband. Man and wife. Man and wife. Oh, sorry, man and wife. All right, Lester. Swap some spit. <laughs>
Got some identification? Oh, Frank, what do you mean identification? Yeah, you got identification? I know I don't. All right, got a name? Uh, Buford. <laughs> Buford, I'm Ralph. How you doing, hey, Ralph? Ralph. Hey. Hey. All right, just, let's cut out this shit, Deke. What's going on? Can't you see it the wedding, man? What's wrong with you? <laughs> some wedding. Mary, this is nothing a wedding. but a wedding. Come on, I've had too many complaints. Yeah, what? Complaints? Yeah, complaints. This is private property. I complain. I some people don't get married, you know. <laughs> Get off! Easy. Easy. Oh. Easy. Hey. What are you doing that for? Hey. Reap. Reap. Now let's get your boys and get out of here. We don't want any trouble, so let's move. Hey. Hey. I don't want to break up your wedding. Right. <laughs> well, things are a little bit shaky. Let's get your boys out of here. Okay, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. yeah. Next week we're going to smell like pigs around here. Come on, man. like pig shit. What is this? Hell's Angels visits the farm? Get up. I said get up, not get dressed. Animal. You're the animal. I'm taking you home. Uh. I'm taking you home, you old man. Get dressed. Uh. Listen to me. You open your mouth to anybody and I'm gonna kill him. And then I'm gonna come back and ruin your face. You hear me? You hear me? You want some, Harvey? No. Deputy Putnam, I'm the one who found your daughter. How do you do? I hate to be the one to tell you that, but... Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll get do him. that to a little girl like that? motorcycle, pouch, just a bunch of animals, I but we'll take care of it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. 
Thank you, officer. Steiner? Hello, Officer Putnam. You call me Vic. I'm John. Sorry I'm late. I got held up with an accident report. Uh, did you order yet? Yeah. Hi, uh, hi Harry. How's it going? How's the old bowling arm, oh, huh? Oh, bowled a 589 last night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mister, why didn't you tell me you were a friend of Vic? Hmm? What are you going to have, Vic? The usual. Okay, coming right up. We were in a doubles bowling league last summer, and she's got a fantastic hook. She has a, a little five-step delivery right up the middle, and then she puts it right down in the first spot, and right in the old crotch. <laughs> Here we go, Vic. Thanks. Is that all? That's fine. Thank you, Harry. Look, uh, my daughter was raped and beaten by some motorcycle mongoloids. And they're still walking around scot-free. Now, when is the department going to get off its ass and bring those lunatics in? Oh, well, that's just it. We can bring them in for questioning, but it won't do any good. Of course, got our hands tied. Just turn them loose again. We gotta have evidence. Well, Lynn would be able to identify them. Not a chance. That are blindfolded. Blindfolded. How do you know that? Throw me on the way to the hospital. Besides, it's almost impossible in this county to get a, a conviction on a rape case. I won't accept that, Dick. That uh, those bastards can can do what they did to my daughter and walk around free. It's the courts. But we can bust our ass for court case. Get a confession, everything. And it gets thrown out of court on a legal irregularity. John? Hmm? What do you think you should do? I mean, what do you think we should do? You just said there was nothing we could do. I didn't say that, John. Well, but then what? No, John, I'm not talking about proper legal procedure. When you were in that hospital room this afternoon with your little girl, what were you thinking then? What were you thinking about them, the ones who did it? They what? What were you thinking about them? They're nothing but a... What, what did you want to do to them? Yeah? I wanted to... to kill them. That's it. You don't mean... That's the way you handle it, John. I don't see what I can... We... What? We, John. I'm in this with you. Look, I'm a man first and a cop second. We can do it. John, believe me, we can do it.
Okay, 21. Here we go. Four. Come over and help me on the couch. Hmm? Help you? And help me. Get on the couch and hustle me up some money. I'm losing my ass here. I'll say. Hey, man. Hey, what the hell happened to you? I had a little run-in with the law. With the law? You got some pretty weird cops in this city. Two of them beat me up. I think they might have messed up Lynn, too. What do you mean you think? Don't you know? Well, we're up in the barn. What barn? The barn on the farm this morning. The wedding, remember? Look, you don't give me no shit. Hey, cool, asshole. Fuck, he's not even in the club, man. Hey, shut up and let him finish, eh? Fuck, I'm out. Okay. Well, what are you doing in the barn? Okay, man. So you're in the barn with the chick, bawling your brains out. So what happened then? All of a sudden, I look up. There's two pigs hovering over us. They had a riot gun. They're getting up the one where the gun hit me. Must have been out for quite a while, because when I got up, everybody was gone. Check two? Yeah, everybody. Maybe they're holding her as a hostage. For what? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they took her home. No, I don't think so. I tried calling her house a couple of times, and no one answered. I just know they did something to her. This guy was really crazy. What'd this pig look like? Yeah, he had a crooked nose. The look on his face. He had a little dirty nose. Those squinty eyes, yeah, he's wearing. <laughs> he ran around all the time. Causing trouble. <laughs> I got a piss. <laughs> Joe laid any good? Yeah, man, she's all right. Yeah, I thought so. That's what the rest of the guys said. Pretty good idea. And I suppose you think it was the road agents. Look, don't worry about it, Krebs. We'll handle this ourselves. Like hell you will. You're not gonna turn this town into a battleground for another way to leave this up to me. Meantime, I want you guys to stay put. Understand? That means nobody leaves town unless I say so. 
And that's an order. That's the switch. Most of the time, you want us to get out of here. Yeah. Right. Well, what are you going to do now? Well, all I know is Lester and Bummer were beautiful brothers. Now they're dead. Just this morning, Lester was married. Now he's got a widow. Yeah, man. Yeah. One minute they're out to take a p and the next minute they're dead. Don't yeah. go to p Cool. They were my brothers who I see him. I'm gonna f him up. And what do you think? I'm well, back off, man. You you too. Police say it is still uncertain whether the killings were the work of a rival gang or that of a former gang member. There is also speculation that the gunfire here tonight on Urban Street may set the stage for a prolonged, vicious, vengeful drug war. This is Bill Adams for WIIT from the Spirits Clubhouse on Urban Street. John? No. Anything. Why so glum? The last time I killed a man was at Batan. Batan? I, I saw that on TV last week. How does it feel? Just like the war, I guess. Why are you involved in this, Armstrong? I told you why Mr. Armstrong has agreed to help us. Yeah, I know, Vic. But I want to hear it from Mr. Armstrong. John, I'm a sportsman. I enjoy the elemental challenges of hunting, big game and small. It excites me, and I'm good, one of the best. So you're in this for the sport? Don't be absurd. There's no sport involved in shooting a standing target at 100 yards, not with a scope. No, like any serious hunter, I'm also an ecologist. In other words, I'm basically interested in protecting and preserving the herd. Why, if a wolf or a wild boar threaten my deer, or a tomcat is killing my pets, I'd destroy it. Not for the sport, but out of necessity. Well, humanity also has its wild boars, its berserk members. These people were born misfits. They can't even get along with their own kind. Their total disregard for law and order and morality is a threat to the survival of all of us. To me, they're beyond rehabilitation. And I have no qualms whatsoever about shooting them. What are we doing standing around here? Let's go off them assholes. We ain't got a thing to do that. Shit, we ought to kill four of those fuckers for off and Lester and Bummer. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, motherfuckers, they ain't worth one right. spirit. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yeah. Maybe you're right. We know Maybe it right. was a road agent. Who else would it be? We don't know this for sure. So let's have a talk with them first. Talk. If they had balls enough to come here and kill Lester and Bummer, yes, they should have balls enough to meet with us. Shit, it was that man I know it was that. Oh, 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 Deep strike, there ain't no sense going off half cock. We'll have a meeting tomorrow. Just give me one good look at Jake Shayton's face, and I'll tell you if they did it or not. I called. I, I, I called all over. I, I saw it all in the house. news. Were you there? Yeah, it was really horrible. But I don't want to talk about that. Are you all right? Sure, I'm okay. What happened after they knocked me out? Oh, they just roughed me up a little bit. But I'm okay now, honest. Then what are you doing here? I don't know. I just woke up here. Father was here for a while, but I really don't remember too much. Did you tell him who did it? Yeah. What's he gonna do? Oh, I don't know. Sue him, I guess. Sue him? Shit. Sue him? Is that all? I don't know, Chris. He just said he'd take care of everything. Hey, Chris. Who do you think killed those guys? I don't know. I don't have any idea.
I really don't have any idea. I've only been in town a couple of days, remember? But some of the guys seem to think it was uh, another motorcycle club, the road agents. The road agents? Uh, they're a weird outfit. You know them? Oh, I've seen them riding through town a couple of times. Well, anyway, they were all set to go down there last night with guns and the whole bit. But Deke decided to talk to them first. So we're going to meet him down at the drive-in on Highway 41. Chris, are you going? Yeah. Be careful. I will. Besides, it couldn't be any worse than that pig. I got to go now. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, Dick. How you doing, man? I got two dead brothers, man. Yeah, hey, I was sorry as Jesus to hear that, man. Oh, come on. You don't think we did it, do you? Listen, if you really thought we did it, you wouldn't just be standing here talking. Our club's got nothing against your club. That kind of shit went on with rock and roll. 
Besides, nobody in our club's got a rifle like that. Like what? The kind your people were killed with. How do you know what my people were killed with, Jake? Aw, oh, come on, Deke. Those things get around. So who do you think did it, Jake? It's hard to say, man. Did you guys get in anybody's face lately? No. Yeah. A couple weeks ago, I had a party over at Magoo's place. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> Doctor. Hold his hands, Deke. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh. Go ahead, come out. Bad. Jesus Christ. Look at her bleed, man. Man. Easy. Oh, man. What are they doing, man? Oh. Gotta come out. You got Blue Cross? Oh, man. Bleeding to death. Hurry up. All right, man. Just hold on. Souvenir, man? Uh, okay. okay. Give me some towels. Uh, uh, hurry up. Okay. Make that good. Hey. All right. Let's go. Get yeah, him out of okay. here. Let's go. Wow, man. What'd you do? Cut it off? <laughs> Hurry, why don't you go over to the clubhouse and tell all the guys to get their shit together. We're going on a run.
Holy shit. Wow, yeah, man. I need to go through the clubhouse. So, Deke. What is this place? <laughs> the best money can buy. Like the good book says, boys. All good things come to those that wait. And here we have good things. A 12 beam of U.S. steel supporting 42 inches of reinforced concrete, 10 inches of lead, 6 feet of crushed gravel and limestone, 10 feet of asphalt, above that 2 feet of topsoil, growing 2 inches of luxurious Miriam bluegrass. Why, this place was built to withstand a 17,000 megaton blast at ground zero. Of course, we would lose our grass. You boys came here for guns. <laughs> Let's see what I can do to help you. Americans, one of your most precious freedoms is the right to bear arms. The right to carry a gun. Be proud of that right. Be proud of your gun. Pack the crap, we come for guns. Gentlemen, your gun. I'm sorry, gentlemen. But the automatics are all on reserve. <laughs> if you'd have called yesterday, I could have got you a couple of claymores and... Uh, Bazooka, but uh, Elbert Twyford is planning a little action with our student control group this weekend. <laughs> Elbert is one of our deacons, you understand, so I sort of felt honor bound to keep my prior commitment to him. By the way, I do have something else which I think you boys will like. <laughs> You understand, of course, you'll have to buy these outright. I simply can't rent you fellas hand grenades. <laughs>
Throw Johnny Spitz to jail, sir. Why you leave me alone, bitch? I can't help it, man. Ain't my fault. I ain't getting no job. I ain't getting nothing. You want a job? You go ahead and get a job. I know I break down all the time, but I fix it and fix it, and my fire just keeps on breaking and breaking and breaking. What can I do? Riding, riding. So what'd you expect? Jimmy Hoffa? <laughs> What's the trouble? This isn't one of my regular stops, you know. We got a bike down. Yeah, yeah, I saw the bikes. I got a bike. I used to have a mini bike, you know, but I, I traded that in and got a big bike. And now I got a Honda 125. Oh, <laughs> wheel stands. Well, you know. Uh, what kind of bike's broke? A Honda? Maybe I can fix it. Uh, we got all Harleys. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, them Japanese don't make good bikes. This ought to be easy to fix. <laughs> yeah, but the Suzuki's broke on this one. Yeah. Wow, that's a bummer. Got any room in the truck? Room? <laughs> Listen, man. You talk about room. Why, if you got the animal, I got the art. <laughs> Fine, you see bikers down the road. Ah, sure as hell did. Them ugly bastards just about ran me off the road. How far down? Oh, they're right back there on uh, Polk Road. Okay, thanks very kindly. Okay. How'd you get in? Through the ventilator shaft. Is there any other way? Glad you came. I've really been feeling terrible all day. What's the matter? Chris, I have a confession to make. I lied to you yesterday. About what? Um, I really didn't tell my father about the cops. You didn't? Why the hell not? Because the cop told me he'd kill you if I did. And I believe he would. I really do. So what did you tell your father? I didn't tell him anything. He just started jumping to conclusions. He keeps talking about those filthy animals. I think he thinks the bikers are the ones that beat me up and raped me. Raped you? You won't kill anybody, and you know it. Chris, I'll tell him tomorrow, but I'm really worried about him. He's been acting like such a different person ever since this thing happened. He's so full of anger and hate. All he keeps talking about is revenge. Sometimes... I'm almost afraid of him. Lynn. 
Lynn. Daddy? Daddy, I... I've just come back to tell you that after today, everything's going to be all right. Believe me. Daddy? Where are you going in those clothes? Uh, I'm late for a very important meeting, dear. Daddy, I have something very important to tell you. You'll have to tell me later, dear. I'll come back this afternoon and we'll have a long talk. Now, now, what's all the excitement about, Miss Diner? Hold her right there. Get your hands up. Come on, higher. Higher. I could arrest you right now for polluting the water or being a public nuisance. Sir, I checked the numbers on that bike. Half of it's going to be stolen. That bike's legal, man. Shut up. But I could do those things. I say I was going to. You stand right there. What's your name, boy? What's this boy shit? All right, what's your name, man? Cheryl Dozer. My friends call me Lemon because my bike always breaks down. She would call me Mr. Dozer. All right, Mr. Dozer. I just want to ask you a few questions. It makes a little beer. That's hard to believe. You know anything about those guys that got killed in your gang? Club. All right, club. No, man, I don't know who killed my brother. You haven't got any just idea some, at all? Just some rotten pig. Pig? Yeah. You mean police officer, don't you? No, I mean pig. You guys think you're pretty smart, don't you? I see the way you guys look at me on the street. You blame us? I know what you're thinking. You think you're pretty damn smart. Please, man, you're crazy. You're sick. You're crazy that you're not smart enough. Not smart enough for Vic Putnam. <laughs> I have orders, sir. Teach me a vehicle, and I intend to do so. Hey, this ain't the way the dog cemetery is, Bill. <laughs> hey, this ain't the way the dog cemetery is, Jack. <laughs> hey, this ain't the way the dog cemetery is. Can't you see what this is? This is a funeral here. I've got my orders. Uh, they're clean, I suppose. There's only one more thing to check. That's your buddy. Let's go.
I stayed up last night, and I wrote down what I was going to say today. After writing it on a piece of paper and looking at it and memorizing it, I just couldn't bring myself to saying it. Lester, Bummer, and Clarence, they deserve more than that. And it'd sound too rehearsed. And nothing in our life is rehearsed. It's all real. We take it like it comes and give it back twice as hard.
planned this thing. We're gonna land. Chris, look out! I make it to the highway. I'm staying. I said get out of here. 
Now! What are you doing here? Daddy, why? For you, baby. I did it for you. Oh, Dad. They didn't do anything to me. I tried to tell you it was the cop. Him!
Oh, thank you ever so much for watching another fine late night feature. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. Right, Lightning? Oh, sure, Lightning enjoyed showing it to you, too. <laughs> All right, you uh, remember what I taught you, honey? I'm sorry. I left the toilet seat down, Joe Bob. I will leave it up from now on. Good girl. Okay. <laughs> and that's it for me. Professor Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that if your dog is fat, you aren't getting enough exercise. Did you guys hear the one about the middle-aged woman who has a heart attack? She's uh, taken to the hospital, and while she's on the operating table, she has a near-death experience. And she sees God. And she asks God, is this it? And God says, no, you have another 43 years, two months, and eight days to live. So the woman recovers, and she decides to stay in the hospital and have a facelift, liposuction, breast augmentation, and a tummy tuck. And she even has somebody come in and color her hair, thinking that since she has so much more time to live, she might as well make the most of it. So she gets out of the hospital after the last operation, and while she's crossing the street, she's hit by a car and is killed instantly. And she goes to heaven and she says to God, I thought you said I had another 43 years to live. And God says, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. Okay, a woman is on her deathbed. <laughs> and her husband is maintain maintaining a vigil by her side. He holds her hand and tears run down his face and they, his tears splash onto her face and they wake her up. And she looks at him, and her lips begin to move. And she whispers, my, my darling husband. And the husband says, hush, my love, go back to sleep. She won't talk. But she insists, she says, I, I have to talk to you. I, I have something I have to confess to you. And the husband says, there's nothing to confess. It's all right. Everything's all right. So just go to sleep now. And the woman says, no, no, I must, I must die in peace. I slept with your brother. I slept with your best friend. And I slept with your father. And the husband manages a pain smile and he strokes her hand and he says, Hush now, don't torment yourself. I know all about that. Why do you think I poisoned you? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have fun, aren't we? 